Hello everyone. Till a few years ago, the Sub 180 segment was the hottest smartphone price category, offering an attractive mix of high-end features and an affordable price tag. While this might not be the case right now, there are still a few brands that are offering value for money phones. The latest one to join this list is the Redmi 13C. It comes with a 90 Hertz bright display, a big battery, splash resistance, a side mounted fingerprint sensor, a 50 megapixel primary camera, and more. It is priced at 134 dollars and here is my detailed review of it. Design and build. It is always refreshing to see flagship-like designs in the budget segment because why should only premium buyers have all the fun? Team Redmi has completely changed the design with the new Redmi 13C compared to the Redmi 12C. With the Redmi 13C, the company has gone for a boxy design with a slightly broad form factor to offer a bigger canvas for viewing content. The device is also sleek and slim, boasting a lightweight design. I appreciate the gradient finish on the rear panel. Redmi has done a good job in terms of design. Beautiful geometric patterns and a shimmery effect along with different shades of green-yellow are visible when the light hits the back panel. The back panel looks neat, showing only the camera module along with the Redmi logo at the bottom side. Redmi has paid great attention to detail in this area, and it is commendable. Redmi has retained the headphone jack port for those who prefer wired headphones. It is impressive that Redmi has managed to incorporate a big 5000 mAh battery, audio jack, IR blaster, triple SIM slot, and other features in a very slim package. Lastly, despite having a plastic build, the Redmi 13C feels solid. All in all, you get a great design at a budget price with the new Redmi 13C. Display. Redmi has earned brownie points in this segment for offering a good display at a budget price. People in the budget range usually look for a basic phone with a massive display and battery. The Redmi 13C delivers on that front. You get a large 6.74 inch LCD screen surrounded by sizable bezels. The panel is bright thanks to its support for 600 nits of peak brightness. We rarely see this range in the lower segment. The colors are punchy. And despite having an HD Plus screen, the content still looks sharp on the phone. An important aspect to mention here is that Redmi has added support for 90 Hz, which made my scrolling and navigating experience smoother when I switched to it from 60 Hz. Lastly, the panel has Corning Gorilla Glass 3 scratch-resistant coating on top. General performance. Before I dive into the performance of the Redmi 13C, let me say this. When I began testing the device, I set out by keeping my expectations with the device's performance in check, and that's only fair given the price tag. The general performance of the phone is mostly good. Powerful games like PUBG Mobile also ran smoothly with almost no lag. While the device isn't meant for graphic-heavy titles, I found those to be playable too. One can also multitask on the phone as switching between different apps is not an issue. The UI is mostly clean and not very cluttered, making it easier for people to quickly adapt to the phone's interface and get started. Speaking of which, Redmi ships the phone with some bloatware. But thankfully, you can delete most of the unnecessary apps except for Xiaomi's native apps. Additionally, I didn't get unnecessary notifications from Xiaomi's native apps as was the case previously. It is good to see that the software experience has improved. However, I do believe Redmi should consider removing more third-party apps for a cleaner UI. The Redmi 13C has 4GB, 6GB or 8GB of RAM and up to 128GB or 256GB of storage. Battery life. The Redmi 13C has a 5000 mAh or more battery under the hood. The device mostly lasts more than a day after I use it for social media, messaging and a bit of binge watching. So, people will get a solid battery life with the Redmi 13C if they stick to basic usage. The company has provided support for 18W Fast Charge, but the bundled charger offers support for only 10W. It takes around two hours to fill the battery, so it is better to keep it on charge when you are about to go to sleep. Camera Performance The Redmi 13C doesn't offer great all-round camera performance, but I can say that given the right amount of light in the scene, the camera does a decent enough job. 
the primary 50 megapixel rear camera can offer detailed shots in good lighting conditions. I noticed that the sunlight shots or the photos captured before 5 p.m. have a good level of sharpness, HDR, and details. The colors produced are lively in most of the shots, making the photos look attractive. However, I do feel the exposure level should be more balanced as the images in sunlight look much brighter than they should, resulting in the loss of details in fewer parts of a frame. Additionally, the dynamic range is average when the light meter goes down, which is understandable because this one is a budget phone. I did notice that the device also sometimes struggles to quickly lock focus or provide a focused shot in the same scenario. The night mode works nicely, able to retain colors, details, and most of the important parts of the frames without blowing out much. All in all, you get a decent camera for the price. Redmi 13C Review. Should you buy it? The Redmi 13C is a solid 5G phone if you can spend a little more than 132 euros. It is priced at $180. Firstly, you get a great design. It offers good general performance and battery life as well. The display is also bright and the colors are lively. There is also a side-mounted fingerprint sensor, which is fast enough to quickly unlock the phone. One can also get attractive camera shots in ample light. Essentially, the Redmi 13C has received a big thumbs up from us, and people can consider buying it for an all-rounder experience under $140. Thank you for joining us in this comprehensive review of the Redmi 13C. If you have any questions or thoughts, please share them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech reviews and updates. Stay tuned for the next exploration into the world of cutting-edge technology.